out the recorder agreement, do keep a copy for your office. In your kit, you're going to want to make sure you have the following papers. Your diagram, overall instruction sheet, the event recording, paper diary, which it is mandatory to fill out, a minimum of two packages of electrodes. If the patient is known to sweat profusely, give them extra packages. This is our 60-hour Holter machine. So you'll be wearing this two and a half days from the time that you're hooked up. Okay. In your kit, you will be provided with all instruction sheets that you will need. Uh, you can review those at home. In your kit, you will have an overall instruction sheet. I understand. Your paper diary. Keep your paper diary on you at all times, just in case you're feeling any symptoms. Okay, and fill it out as thoroughly as possible. I understand. Not only will you be recording any events on the paper diary, but you will be recording on the machine as well using the diary button. And there is a sheet explaining how to record any events. Okay. Now you can take this machine off to shower, but other than that, you are to keep it on at all times. I understand. In order to shower, what you are going to do is pop the leaves on and off. Okay. So the electrodes and sticky padding, they can stay on your body at all times. Okay. They have a very strong adhesive on the bottom, and the boost up there is ultrasound gel. I understand. If for some reason the electrodes become loose from your shower, sweating, rubbing against your clothes, you are set up with at least two extra packages. Do you sweat profusely or abnormally at all? I do not. Perfect. If you did, we would set you up with more. Okay. Now, when you're hooking yourself back up after your shower, it is color coordinated, so just make sure you get them on your left side of the body and your right side of the body. I You've labeled that on the diagram. So that will be provided in your kit as well. When you're replacing the electrodes, also make sure you fully clear any of the ultrasound gel and adhesive off, dry it, and then apply the new one on top in the same location. Yeah, I understand. Do you have the machine outside of the bathroom also when you're showering? Because the steam can get to it as well. I understand. We'll get you to read over this recorder agreement here. And just sign and date the bottom, and you will get a photocopy of this to take home. Okay. Now, do you have any questions at all? Not at this time, thank you. So on the machine, I'm just going to enter in your birth date and I'll get you to remove your shirt. Okay. And you can have a seat. So we're going here up by your collarbone. And you can't press them back down. That's when you're going to want to change them. Okay, I understand. And also make sure that the leads are not popping off. I normally find this happens in patients when they prefer they wake up in the night. Make sure that they're still attached, and if not, attach them back right away. I understand. Put it down by your ribs, and then this brown one's a little off center from the red one there. And I'll show you here the readings. Now, channel one and two, they say five plus five, and that means that we have proper placement of all the electrodes. So if those said any other number, we'd have to reposition those till that popped up. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna hit record, and then all you'll ever see is that large time, the date, and your battery power. Now your battery power, 
As long as it's over 70% to start, it will last over the 60 hours. Okay. If for some reason the batteries die before the 60 hours are up, your screen will go blank. Do you remove the equipment and call the office, let them know that this happened, okay? Okay, I understand. Now we situate this sack here around your waist. But if you feel more comfortable, you can put that around your neck. Okay. And if you toss and turn in your sleep, I would put that somewhere where you feel you're not going to roll on the machine. Okay, I understand. We'll get you to stand up. And just grab that strap here for me. And then we'll tuck some of these wires away after. So I have an elastic here that we're going to grab some of the wires with. And then we'll tuck in the back of the black sack. Now, if you have any questions during the screening, you can call the London Sleep Apnea and Holter Clinic. I understand. So we're just tucking the wires behind here in the black sack. But some patients also like to put this in their pocket, however you feel comfortable. Okay. And that's everything. You can put your shirt back on. Thank you. Now, in your kit, remember you have all your papers for your instructions here, how to record um, an overall review, and then don't forget your paper diary, and then make sure it's returned with the kit when you come back in. Yeah, I understand. Thank you very much. You're welcome. The first thing you want to do is go to your file section and locate the SD card file under Northeast. You'll then rename the file with the patient's first and last name. You can then go to your Dropbox folder. The sign-in will be the same login as your Google as your Chromebook. You'll then go to your SD card folder and upload the SD card file. Before you leave your computer, you must go to the Keep Awake app so that your system does not go into sleep mode. Click Keep Awake Make sure that that notification there comes up. And then you can lock your screen by going down here and clicking on the lock button.